In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, but we're going to do it using a shortcut method or the easy way. So to begin, we are going to write the first column of the matrix, 5, 2, negative 6, and then we're going to write the second column, 3, negative 5, 4, and then the third column, 7, 8, 9. And then let's write the first column, 5, 2, negative 6, and then the second column again. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the numbers in a diagonal, starting from the top left, going to the bottom right. So we're going to multiply 5, negative 5, 9, and then we're going to multiply those three numbers and then those three numbers. We're going to add these three products and subtract it by the sum of these three products in this direction. So let's multiply these numbers first. 5 times 5 is 25. Now what's 25 times 9? If you have 9 quarters, how much money do you have? 9 quarters is 225. So 25 times 9 is 225. Now we have a negative sign, so this is going to be negative 225. Next, we have 3 times 8 times negative 6. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 times 6 is 144. We do have a negative sign, so it's going to be negative 144. And then we have 7 times 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. Now, starting from the bottom left, let's multiply those three numbers. 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21, so 30 times 7 is 210. Since we have two negative signs, it's going to be positive 210. And then 4 times 8 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 8. If you have 8 $20 bills, how much money do you have? Eight twenty dollar bills is one sixty. And then finally we have nine times two times three. Two times three is six. Six times nine is fifty four. So now let's add these three numbers. Negative 225 minus 144 plus 56. That's going to be negative 313. And then let's add those three numbers. So 210 plus 160 plus 54. That's 424. Negative 313 minus 424 is negative 737. So this is the answer. That is the value of the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So that's how you could find it quickly using this shortcut method. Now, for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and work on another example. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So in the first column, we have 8, negative 5, 7. In the second column, 4, 6, 9. And the last one, 3, negative 2, negative 8. So feel free to try this problem if you want to. So we're going to follow the same example. Let's begin by writing the first column, 8, negative 5, 7. And then the second column, 4, 6, 9. And then the third column, 3, negative 2, negative 8. Then we're going to write the first column, 8, negative 5, 7. And then the second column, 4, 6, 9. So let's multiply these three numbers starting from the top left. 
8 times 6 times 8. Let's use a calculator for that. 8 times 6 is 48 times 8, that's 384. We have one negative sign, so it's going to be negative 384. Next, we have 4 times 2 times 7, but we have negative 2, though. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 times 7, that's negative 56. Three times negative five is negative 15 times nine. 15 times nine is 135. But with the negative sign, it's gonna be negative 135. And then seven times six times three. Seven times six is 42. 42 times three. Four times three is 12. Two times three is six. So it's gonna be 126. Nine times eight is 72. 72 times negative two. If you double 72, it's 144. So we're gonna have negative 144. And then eight times five, or negative eight times negative five, that's positive 40. 40 times four. Four times four is 16, so 40 times four is 160. So now let's do the math. Let's add those three numbers. Negative 384 plus negative 56, or just minus 56, minus 135. That's going to be negative 575. 126 minus 144 plus 160. That's going to be 142. Now, negative 575 minus 142 is negative 717. So this is the final answer. So that's the value of the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So now you know the shortcut method to quickly get this answer. Now, I do have another video that shows the older method of getting this answer. It's basically a longer way of doing it. You can check out that, that video if you haven't seen it already. But I've used the exact same problems in this video as I did in the other video. So it's going to give you the same answers. But as you can see, this method is a lot simpler to work with. However, the older method is useful for those of you who want to get the determinant of a 4x4 four four matrix. Because... This method is designed to work for the 3x3 three three matrix. By the way, for those of you who want access to more math videos like algebra or other pre-calculus videos, feel free to check the links in the description section below. You're going to get access to my website, which has my playlist where you can access more videos like this on matrices and other related topics as well.